This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the pOH scale. So the pOH scale describes the concentration of hydroxide ions in solution. So here we can see the equation used to calculate the pOH value of a solution. And we can see that the pOH is equal to the negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration of the solution. So this might look similar to the equation used to calculate pH, except that the pH of a solution is equal to the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. And as we'll see later, there are some similarities between the two scales. Below that, we have the equation to calculate the hydroxide ion concentration of a solution if you know its pOH value. So the hydroxide ion concentration is equal to 10 to the power of the minus pOH value. And later on in the video, we'll do some calculations using these two equations. Next, we look at the relationship between the concentration of hydroxide ions and hydrogen ions in a solution. So just like the pH scale, the pOH scale is an inverse scale in that a high concentration of hydroxide ions results in a low pOH value. So if we start on the right hand side, we can see that a solution with a high concentration of hydroxide ions has a low pOH value. So for example, a one mole per cubic decimeter solution of a strong base, such as sodium hydroxide, would have a pOH value of zero and a pH value of 14. And if we go to the left hand side, we can see that a low concentration of hydroxide ions results in a high pOH value. So for example, a one mole per cubic decimeter solution of hydrochloric acid would have a pOH value of 14. So strong bases have low pOH values and high pH values, and strong acids have high pOH values and low pH values. So next we look in more detail at the relationship between pH and pOH. So here we have the value of the Kw at 298K, which is 1.00 times 10 to the minus 14. And the Kw is equal to the concentration of hydrogen ions multiplied by the concentration of hydroxide ions. If we take the negative log of everything, we end up with this relationship shown at the bottom. So the pKw is equal to the pH plus the pOH which is equal to 14 at 298K. So this gives us a really useful relationship, which is at 298K, the pH plus the pOH of a solution is equal to 14. So next we look at some calculations. So our first example is a solution has a pH of 9.67 at 298K, and we'll determine the pOH of the solution. So we're going to use the relationship we saw in the previous slide, which is the pH plus the pOH is equal to 14. So 9.67, which is the pH plus the pOH is equal to 14. Therefore, the pOH is equal to 14 minus 9.67, which gives us 4.33. So the pOH of the solution is 4.33. In the next example, we're told that a solution has a concentration of hydroxide ions of 1.84 times 10 to the minus five at 298K. And we'll determine the pOH and the pH of the solution. So first we'll use this equation, which is pOH is equal to the negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration. So that's the negative log of 1.84 times 10 to the minus five, which gives us 4.74. Next we'll use the relationship pH plus pOH is equal to 14. So the pH plus 4.74 is equal to 14, and the pH is equal to 14 minus 4.74, which gives us 9.26. We could also solve this problem using the Kw to find the hydrogen ion concentration, and then taking the negative log of that. In our final example, we're told that a solution has a pH of 8.59 at 298K, and we'll determine the concentration of hydroxide ions of the solution. So 8.59, which is the pH plus the pOH is equal to 14. And the pOH is equal to 14 minus 8.59, which gives us 5.41. Next, to find the concentration of hydroxide ions, it's 10 to the minus pOH value, which is 10 to the minus 5.41. And this gives us a concentration of hydroxide ions of 3.89 times 10 to the minus six moles per cubic decimeter. 